Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday, January 1st. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God, O Lord, come quickly to help me. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Unto us the Christ is born. Let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. January 1st, Happy New Year to you. It is the eighth day. Um, traditionally, then, on this day, the celebration was the circumcision of our Lord from Luke chapter 2. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Why this talk of circumcision? Well, this was the Old Testament requirement for for God's people. It was a sign of the covenant. It was a sign of a promise. God said, trust me in this. Mark your sons in this way, and I will be for them their God, and they will be for me my people. Okay, then why is Jesus Christ circumcised? St. Paul says in Galatians 4, when the time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under law, to redeem those under law, that we might receive the full rights of sons. Jesus Christ has come to do all that you did wrong. He's come to do it right. Jesus Christ has come for all those things that you have failed to do, to do it perfectly in your place. When we talk about the moral law of God, we recognize this law that applies at all times and in all places for God's people. Where you have had other gods, where you've misused his name, where you have neglected his word, where you've dishonored um, or angered your parents or others in authority, where you have murdered, where you have committed adultery, whether that be physical or just in the heart, where you have stolen, where you've given others a bad name where you have coveted, sinfully desired that which did not belong to you, Jesus Christ um, hasn't. Um, he kept every one of those laws um, perfectly for you. He also kept those laws which uh, marked the children of Israel as a separate nation as God guarded and protected his promise throughout the pages of the Old Testament. He was circumcised, that is, he was put under the law the lawgiver becomes the law keeper. What does this all this mean for you and, and, and me today? You are not under that law in the sense that he has completed it and has finished it for you. There is a real freedom for you as you look at this new year that lies in front of you. There is a freedom in service to God and service to your neighbor. Um, not, not trying to pay God back. Um, not trying um, to to somehow even or or, or even out the scales. Um, you are free in Christ, the one who was circumcised on the eighth day, because that's what happened to Jewish boys. The one put under the law for you. He was pleasing to the Father in every which way, and he wraps you up in his righteousness and says the same about you. At the end of eight days when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus. He was given the name by which you are saved, by which I am saved. The name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. A blessed new year to you. A blessed year of freedom found in the Christ alone. All in the holy name of Jesus. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant to us your salvation. Clothe your servants with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the Lord be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, in mercy you sent your one and only Son to take upon himself our human nature. By his gracious coming, deliver us from the corruption of our sin, and transform us into the likeness of his glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, on the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Have a blessed day.